possibly the most underrated young cornerback in the league right now is Legereus Sneed. As he wraps up his rookie campaign with the Kansas City Chiefs as a former fourth round pick, there's no doubt about it, he blew away people's expectations this year, finding an extremely solid role for this Chiefs defense. And today I want to break down the film and really dive into what makes Legereus Sneed so special and how he's going to have a long career to come in the NFL. So let's get into the film breakdown. Jumping to this first play, I really want to highlight Legereus Sneed's explosiveness as an athlete. So pre-snap, we got press man here against a fade at the bottom of the screen. At the snap of the ball, we're going to see Legereus Sneed get fitted up in a really nice trail technique position here, playing on the inside hip and a step behind the receiver here. This is really good to take away any comeback routes or any routes breaking back towards the quarterback. The only issue is now is that he's going to be vulnerable for routes coming over the top, for example here, the fade route. As I let the play roll here, keep an eye on Legereus Sneed's ability to shoot back over top of the receiver here, regaining leverage. This is a great example of his athleticism and his explosiveness as an athlete. That sub 4-3-40 is shining bright right here. He gets back over top of the receiver in perfect position to go up in the air, break up the pass, and completely shut down the play. I'll let the play roll from the top so you can see it happen in full speed one more time, but just keep an eye on the athleticism that Legereus Sneed shows here, being able to go from that trail technique position to understand and recognize that the fade route is coming in to work back over top of that receiver and completely shutting down and breaking up the deep pass. Taking a look at the next play, I really want to stay on the same topic of Legereus Sneed's athleticism and its explosiveness. So pre-snap here, we got a cover three look by the Chiefs. We're going to see Legereus Sneed. He's going to drop into the flats down here at the bottom of the screen, circled to red. Offensively, the Saints are going to fake split zone to the left, and they're going to flare Taysom Hill back out to the flats. And at the snap of the ball, we're going to see Legereus Sneed. He gets sucked down to respect the run play. And because of this now, it's going to leave the flats extremely vulnerable. As you see, this dump off pass to Taysom Hill is a really good corner for him to turn upfield, get a good 6-7 yard gain. But as I let the play roll, Legereus Sneed is going to flash his recovery speed, be able to plant his foot on the ground, drive down into the flats, and get a hand in and break up the pass. Once again, I'll have to play a role from the top, but just keep an eye on Legereus Sneed. Look how he gets out of position here, leaves the flats vulnerable, but he's so explosive and so fast, be able to plant his foot in the ground and get back in there and break up the pass. As we move into the next play, I really want to keep the same spotlight on Legereus Sneed's ability to drive and really attack those underneath routes. Pre-snap, we'll see the Chiefs dial up a cover zero blitz here, running off man coverage at the bottom of the screen. Offensively, we're going to see the Dolphins working this quick slant right here at the bottom of the screen which already gives the offense an immediate advantage because of this off-man coverage and no middle field defenders. This should be an easy catch for a nice 6-7 yards and possibly even a touchdown here. But as we let the play roll, Jerry Sneed is going to flash his burst once again. That athleticism to plant his foot on the ground and drive on those short underneath routes, tackling the receiver short of the sticks, forcing a third and short situation instead of allowing a first and goal situation. Once again, I'll have to play roll from the top, but just look how even pre-snap when Jerry Sneed is, is at a disadvantage, his athleticism, his explosiveness can make up for it and he can make big plays in crucial situations. So overall, I've shown a lot of examples of Lejerry Sneed in coverage. He's extremely athletic, extremely explosive, is really good at driving on those short and underneath routes. But for this next play, I really want to focus on Sneed in the running game. Pre-snap, we'll have the split zone look here by the Saints, and we're going to have Legereus Sneed blitzing off this backside edge where the split zone defender is going to be responsible for taking him out. But as we let the play roll, I don't want to keep beating a dead horse, but once again, we see Sneed's burst and his explosiveness shine here. He shoots so fast in the backfield that the split zone defender gets spun around not even knowing where he went. And now with Sneed having a free release, he flips his hips back upfield, attacks Latavius Murray from behind, forcing a minimal gain. Once again, I'll let the play roll from the top, but Legereus Sneed's explosiveness, athleticism, and aggressiveness doesn't just apply to the passing game, it also applies to the run game. Now, like I said, we've seen Legereus Sneed work in coverage, we've seen him work in the running game. Now I gotta flip the spotlight and top the cake with Legereus Sneed's ability to blitz and put pressure on the quarterback. Pre-snap, we're going to see a very similar look from the Chiefs defense. We're going to be working these edge pressure by sending the defensive end inside, and Legere Sneed's going to replace him by shooting off the edge here. Offensively, the Bills offensive line is going to be doing a half slide to the right, so technically the right tackle here should be picking up Legere Sneed off the edge. And as I let the play roll here, keep an eye on Legere Sneed's active hands here. Look how he swipes away the tackle's punch here, giving him a free release and a free edge to round the corner and get an easy sack on Josh Allen. Once again, this shows off his explosiveness as an athlete to beat the tackle to the corner and also those active hands as a rusher to be even effective when he blitzes off the edge. 
Overall, there's a lot to like about Legereus Sneed. He's ineffective as a blitzer off the edge. He gets involved in the running game. He's extremely phenomenal at planting his foot on the ground and attacking those short underneath routes. He's able to play that sticky man coverage deep down the field. Overall, this all boils back to one thing, his athleticism and his aggressiveness and his toughness. He doesn't mind getting his nose dirty. He loves attacking downhill, getting involved in the running game. That sub 4 three forty, that 40-some inch vertical, that explosiveness as an athlete shows week in and week out, being able to drive on those short underneath routes. Like I said, that 4-3 speed is shown in those sticky man coverage that he plays week in and week out. There's no doubt about it in my mind, Legereus Sneed was hands down the best rookie cornerback from this past draft class. Those guys like Jeff Akuda, they didn't really live up to the hype, but Legereus Sneed is a fourth round pick outplayed I think every rookie cornerback and I think a lot of people as they were doing their remock drafts for the 2020 NFL draft class, a lot of them said that Legereus Sneed should have been a top 10 pick. But those are my thoughts on Legereus Sneed. I think he's phenomenal. I think the ceiling for him is limitless at this point. He fits the Steve Spagnola scheme of having that corner that is able to drive and play aggressive on underneath routes in that 0-5 to five yard range. They're able to plant their foot in the ground and really attack. And I think that's what Legereus Sneed does extremely well. But also on top of that, he's able to play sticky man coverage down the field. And like I said, that fits the Steve Spagnuolo system to a T in my opinion. But let me know your guys' thoughts on Legereus Sneed. Is he the real deal? Is he really that elite? Was he the best cornerback from his rookie class? Let me know your guys' opinion. Let me know where you guys would have took Legereus Sneed if you guys were redrafting the 2020 NFL Draft. I love hearing from you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you.